right here and this is officially my first video in 2014 and then goodbye to the 2013 and then let's welcome in 2014 I'm so exciting for this new year hopefully you guys also really exciting like me so hopefully I can share like more video more active in my YouTube channel like posting more video today I really want to share my beauty stuff like for my face from the skincare and also my favorite makeup for the 2013 so it will be my best beauty product for the 2013 so this is my first time ever to share something like this and let's get right into it because one of my resolution to keep my video under 10 minutes I don't want to be too long already okay Chitra has Lin Lastil Cool Snow for my day moisturizer. I really love this one uh, applying on the skin. It's so cooling and also so moisturizing. It's great for like morning use. It's just like refresh uh, for in the morning. So, so for the night uh, time, I love moisturizer that a little bit thick and a little bit concentrate, I guess. And yeah, I'm so this is will be my favorite night um, moisturizer which is the bio oil pure saline oil and it just looks like this and it has so many benefits for like scars stretch marks and even skin tone aging skin dehydrated skin great it's moisturizing too and i still can feel very soft in the mornings for me it's so i don't know i really love the smell of this stuff but it's a little bit too strong maybe for you guys i really love sense product actually and this is one of the I last skincare that i want to just feature in this video because i don't have too much skincare if you're wondering i have like whatever cleanser that i have maybe like oatmeal or i'm using what herbalism from lush it's just work for my uh, skin i don't have the most sensitive skin so i think i'm lucky for that way uh what to mention is just the bioderma Creolin heads 2o um in 100 ml they just looks like this and it's already run out again for like what a uh, few times now i already go through bottle and bottle and it's great cleanser it's removed all the dirt on the skin and it's also not making me break out it's also not drying my uh, skin or I can use mask. Mask is one of the stuff. I really love the Beauty Diaries mask or the last fresh mask. I also really like it. Other than that, I don't have like com like complicated uh, skincare. I don't my primer first primer classic made vanilla from vanilla co and i'm really really love this one it's just in the blue minty so uh it's great primer i really love it and it's gone now i think this have silicone base but at the back all in korea i grabbed this in korea so it's totally don't have any um english words right here so i cannot really know what's going on like what's the product inside this one but i feel like it's have silicone base in it because i can feel the silicone for my face and everything it just smooth out everything i really like it okay um for the foundation this is my favorite foundation uh, for the 2013 which is the bourgeois paris um healthy mix in mix the fruits and healthy glow and flawless complexion so it have this palm too which is great i always prefer palm for foundation because it's not messy and it's we can control how many product that we want to use and my shades in the 53 and it's also very easy to blend it's just fastly and it's great and it's met my skin perfectly i can see like my face and my neck the same color i don't have to just like use any product for my neck because it's the same so it's so natural it's like it doesn't seem that i have like put so much stain on my face um it's just flawless i i love it and it smooths everything out and it's and well. for my bb cream which is like everyday use i really love my bb cream i always this is my favorite bb cream ever which is the misha perfect cover bb cream in number 23 which is just looks like this so this is like small um size i want to try that first and i really love like I already use like so many BB cream this is like one of the stuff that I really love which is the like look like this it's a little bit grayish uh, if we see the shades in the tube like this 
but it's actually really blendable and really really great for the skin it's blend well and it's, and it's great for like our skin tone I guess so yeah. I don't use any concealer for blemishes it doesn't mean I don't have any blemishes for my face it means that I don't want to just purchase concealer only for blemishes um, I don't have like bad bad blemishes for sure so then I just want to use any foundation that I have and maybe I've put two layer or something like that it works it actually really works and I just do that so what I'm using is just Revlon whipped cream for my concealer for blemishes concealer um, so it's great I just like tap them and it's gone so I think it's great for like concealer kind of stuff for okay for the my favorite powder which is the 40 air spoon loose face powder translucent extra coverage it has scents in it I don't really this is like kind of like strong scents too it's a bit too strong for me but it's still okay uh, like take note that I really love scents product actually so yeah I really love this one it's just like I'm using it right now actually it's just great it smooth everything out I really like it so they just oh that so what I'm really loving which is the elf healthy glow bronzing powder and it just looks like this and I'll hit pen on it and then this is in matte bronze I I cannot find this in um, elf websites now I don't know maybe it's discontinuing or something like that I not even know but I'm so sad that they discontinued because I really love the color of this so yeah it just looks like this I have pan on it and it don't have any shimmer in it you you can see in the pan it have a little bit shimmer in it not shimmer like a little bit sparkly going on but I think it's for healthy glow so it's kind of like really great I really love it I'm using it right now I'm using all this stuff today if you want my really. highlight going on I really love the slick face contour kit actually this is have bronzer too I really love the bronzer too but I prefer the elf one which is my favorite bronzer for my favorite highlight which is in this one which is just this um, pinkish peachy um, highlight actually and it's like such a nice things to have so okay for the blushes I'm just like a blush freaker I have so many blush show for like only mentioning one like it's just so hard for me to just like choose one so I just grab two stuff um, the first one which is the rockstar one which is the Jordana made in USA blush powder in raw seal 32 so okay if you want drink I'm the kind of person that don't like like dolly pink blush or just orangey tangerine blush I don't really like the kind of stuff I have them in my collection but I don't use them very often I always came with I always came back to this kind of stuff which is like this this um rosy pink color I really love something like that um, high-end things for the black glasses I really love the Bobbi Brown uh, pot rose for lips and cheek in blush stuff I'm using my stippling brush with this and just stippling on the apple of my cheek and it's just great and I think it's not not like fiber fiber one but you can just like put it lightly I always use blush very lightly I don't like to be very cloudy going on so yeah I really really love it okay oh that eyes what I'm really really loving actually is for my eye primer I'm really loving my elf mineral eyeshadow primer this is such an inexpensive product and it works for me that's why I'm so glad that it works for me even though before this I just like hesitant to try this stuff because I feel like it's not working at all I first of all I using the urban decay primer potion so I also try the Too Faced shadow insurance but it's kind of like only the dry out in the tubes or maybe because when I apply it on my eyelids it's kind of like flakiness going on something like that so I don't want to use that anymore so yeah I just like use this one it's still cream it's kind of like a thin um, formula and it's great for like um, it's not 
like it's not highlight my dryness like I don't know my lips kind of dry maybe for some people it's kind of oily but for me it's kind of dry so I need something to just like cover everything up like that and it works actually great uh, like for my A shadow what I'm really really loving is just my L'Oreal Ice Latte Infallible which is just looks like this and this is like such I'm using it right now actually um, all over the lids I'm using it left like for almost every single day for like 2013 it's great so and um, one thing for like my inner corner what I'm using for my inner corner so many people like even in real life they always ask so what I'm using for my um, inner corner the first stuff I was I using is just for the NYX jumbo eye pencil in milk I cannot finish this stuff too it's just too much already but yeah I still have this stuff that's I'm using it first for my base and then after that I'm using this stuff which is the covergirl eye enhancer eyeshadow single eyeshadow in champagne and they just looks like this and actually the sponge it's so great i love the sponge actually i can use it for my inner corner i don't and throw the my mascara what i'm really loving right now is just this one um, majolica majorca last enamel glamour volume on it's kind of like tiny so it's great for like inner for like asian laces like us and i think it's great it holds the curl and i'm pretty much in love with this stuff actually but one thing for sure that you can take note of this is a pain in the butt to just remove this one and other than that i really love this mascara for like my upper laces for my bottom laces i really love my benefit day real mascara that i just in the travel size like this i got, got them from sephora Wait for like underneath our eye our uh, bottom laces is just great i love them for like bottom but for i already use this one for like my upper laces it's not great it doesn't really hold the curve first of all and then it's just that i don't really like it for like my um upper laces but i really love it for bottom laces it make it long and yeah this is too, too much okay, but i want to mention one palette that i will be features in this like best beauty 2013 it will be my naked urban decay naked one it's just great like all the color i really love it from the dark to the light i always love them and as you can see i already like the scene the scene right here i already use it up and yeah it's all the color is so gorgeous i really love all the color i'm thinking about the naked tree but that one is like too pink it's like so many pink but i really love pink color too actually if i wondering about same color so maybe i will i need to grab that one i not really i haven't really um used that one so i don't really know so yeah this is my obviously like my naked uh, one which is my favorite uh, best palette in 2013 but not least which is my lips what i'm really really like loving obviously which is my um aqua pore baby eucerin advanced therapy for dry crack and irritating skin and it just looks like this and this is like a huge huge tube from aqua pore and it's just like the the biggest lip balm i ever have and it takes forever to finish them but i'm using it like every single day and every single time really just like liking it and it's just like smooth everything out for my lips my lips kind of dry before i'm using this stuff now i already use this stuff it's just like my my lips just like smooth and everything like that so i just really like this stuff and it's moisturizing it's nice it's great so yeah I already tried the small tube and also now I'm using the bigger tube. So this really is like loving for the Topshop lips in um, straight ace and it just looks like this. It's kind of crazy crazy um, purple color but actually it's kind of nice color. This looks like that and you can apply it for light hand, for the light hand and it's just that. So yeah it just depends on you whatever you want it so yeah this is my favorite um lipstick i'm going to do next time like dry hair and also damaged hair shampoo 
professional quality 800 Wait.